Do you upload videos to YouTube? And sometimes the audio is awesome and sometimes it's not that awesome. How do you know? Well, usually people leave comments, but you can also right click on a video clip, go to statistics for geeks, and you'll have volume normalized. Content loudness, if it's zero decibels, that's perfect. If it is a positive value, you were too loud, and if it is a negative value, you were too quiet. In this case, minus 2.7 is okay. But it can also happen that you make a video, you think it's awesome, when you listen to it, it sounds awesome, but when you upload it to YouTube, you can have minus 11 decibels. And that's a lot. But how loud the audio actually is depends on the gear that you use to listen to. If this is just a mobile phone, maybe this is not good enough. So how can you fix this if you use DaVinci Resolve? I'll show you, at least to the best of my abilities. Now I already have a clip inside, I have not made any changes to it, I just imported it. And my clips usually look like this. So as you can see the audio is fairly quiet, the volume is set to 0 decibels, now with DaVinci Resolve, was it 18? You can now simply right click, normalize audio levels, and simply choose a preset, in this case maybe YouTube, click on normalize, wait for this to do its thing. Now how fast this is done depends on the length of the actual clip. Now the waveform is a lot bigger and also this will be a lot louder. That's it for the effects. Let's see the generators. Now, if you focus on the right side, on this meter, if it goes into the red zone, that's not okay. At least, that's what you have to watch out for. And I'm usually the loudest at the beginning, so let's take a listen and also check the meter. So definitely in the red zone. But this video in total was still in the negative value when it comes to the loudness in YouTube. So the first thing that you should do, besides the normalization of the audio, that would be step 2. The first thing would be to go into the project settings, go to fear light and set the target loudness level to minus 14, because that is what YouTube uses. So click save, then what we'll want to do is go into the Fairlight page, because you don't see the laughs on the audio track, you also don't see it in the audio tab. So let us go to the Fairlight page, and now if you'll take a look at the top, you'll have control room and loudness, and loudness is the thing that we want. Now the M is the current frame, so this will be jumping up and down. The short is a 30 second interval, so the average of it, this will be the max of it. I forgot what the range does, but the one that you want to check is the integrated, which is the overall average of the whole clip. And TP is true peak. Now if I just play this, and we'll see what the number show us. So the average in this case is minus, let's say, 8. So it is quite well below what I want, which is minus 14. Now this is a video that I have already uploaded to YouTube. So maybe if I just reset this back to zero and let me go back into the Freelight page. So as you could hear, this is not as loud as before, but the loudness itself is pretty much the same. Still, how do you get this to be minus 14? Well, the first thing that you have to do is click on the three dots. You'll want to use absolute scale, so this will force it to be minus 
14. And then you also have to use this one. I think this is the codec that also YouTube uses and other streaming platforms like Netflix. So click on that one and we'll see if we have anything different. And we do, as you can see. But this time the loudness is a little bit too high. So what can we do in this case? Now in this case I only have one audio track. If you had multiple tracks, you could do this for each track individually or all of them at once using the bus. In this case, I could select either the bus or A1. Click on the plus which is the effects and you want to go to dynamics and you want to limit the audio which will show like so we can play it uh, just the ceiling so in this case what I would want to do well we'll test it out So as you can see, cranking the ceiling up all the way, I went over the limit, that is no good. So you want to be below the limit. Now using the ceiling like this, I'm not really feeling it. So what I will do is go back into the edit page. Normalize the audio again, which I think it was around 14 decibels. And laughs and decibels are not the same, so you can just mix and match. Now to get back to the limiter, simply go over the name and click the controls, which is the middle icon. We'll take a listen, maybe I'll lower the volume. This is just how loud we hear it now, but this is the actual loudness. So we can increase it a little bit and if it would start to clip going over we could also soften it up. So in this case maybe about minus 8 and softness by maybe minus 1 and actually this would maybe have to be minus 7. Now what you see in this section is just what is currently being played in the span of 30 seconds. If you have a long clip like this one, to get the idea of the average love, so the average value, you can simply right click, analyze audio levels, and in this case just make sure that the loudness standard that you chose is the same that you have used here, which is this one. Let's click on analyze, and we will see what we get. So true peak minus 1 dBFS, that is okay. Integrated loves, that is a bit too high. By 7 loves, that does not really mean much to me because I'm not an audio guy. So if you know anything better on how to, to get the correct loudness for YouTube, let me know in the comments down below. Now what I will also do is upload let's say this section of the audio since it's the loudest and maybe also the end. So I'll just do this, five minutes of video, I'll upload it to YouTube and see what the final result would actually be. But before I do what I have actually done before, besides using the normalized audio levels, I also went under the EQ, simply choose dialogue mail, increased the game by one and that was it. What I have been doing recently was using the Soundly Ship It plugin on the audio track using, let's see, the dialogue clarity and with the track selected I then went with four bands. I'm not saying that this is how this should be done but this sounded best to me. And what I have done is used high cut 12 for the band 
then position it something like so. I will quickly render this out, upload it to YouTube and see how it goes. And because I don't actually need any video, I'll simply use this as 720p. Now the video has rendered, if I listen to it on my PC using pod player, this will always sound fine, even if the audio is way quiet or way loud. But YouTube does not work in that way. So let me upload this. And we'll check what the loudness is. And how can you check that before you actually post it? Well, you have to wait for this to upload, then it also has to process at least the low quality and then you can simply click on the link and we'll check the loudness using the geek stats. So let's see the SD quality is done. I guess I'll see if I still need to wait 10 minutes. I do not. And moment of truth, geek stats, not good, minus 7.4. So most definitely the audio side of the Vinci Resolve is not my strong suit. So if you have any tips for me and someone else, do leave them in the comments down below. Now, if you still found this video helpful, I will not ask you to like or subscribe, but I will ask you to watch the next video. I'm Simon and until next time Jackal, keep it digital.